But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like a red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my local man, and I'm the biggest star around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Um, it's for Tua Tonga Valor, Miami Dolphins quarterback. He had a head injury last week, and then he had uh, another concussion this past Thursday. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but it's gonna be come. It's gonna be during the week. And I was talking to my my lady's father. We were just talking about football that past Sunday, and I was saying, I said, you know. This concussion protocol, to me, is just the helmets. Because if you look at the helmets, they're like on the back of them, they're like streamlined. They're like thin back here. And a lot of the times, when you say no head, no head on head collisions, guess what? You know, the concussions happen with bang bang plays. If y'all know what a bang bang play is, you know, catch, defensive player running, you know, catch, bang, bang. You know, some pe people have got knocked out like that. True. But more people have gotten stunned. They got their bell rung and were able to play. But ever since the, I've seen these lighter helmets come, in my opinion, just watching, I've seen a lot of players fall to the ground and hit the back of their head on the turf. And they hit the back of their head and they out. And back in the day, the pad used to be thicker in the back of the helmet for, you know, just in case you got hit in the back of the head. And I remember that when they, when they started with the new helmets and they were more streamlined and they were supposed to pop off on impact, you know, and a lot of people just losing their helmets, the helmets just flying off, because if you get hit hard enough, it just, it, it detaches or whatever, but the problem with that is this, now you really don't have uh, protection, because the, the worst place really to get hit is in the back of the head, anybody who's out, who, who's been around any type of fighting or wrestling knows if you get slammed, if you get hit in the back of your head, you probably, you out of there. That's why they don't allow heads, punches behind the head in boxing or MMA. You know, you know, when you slam somebody in wrestling, that's how you take them to the mat. It's the, the impact of boom, boom. That's what that is. If they, they, if they head hits the mat like that, probably they might be out of there. They, they'll be a little bit, you know, shaky and then they might be out of there. Because if you hit somebody behind the ear, your equilibrium is shot. You know, you get wobbly. You get knocked out here. You get knocked out here, but you get wobbly back here. Um, the other thing, you know, so Odell Beckham talking about the turf because of the Sterling Shepard injury. Now, I can't say that, you know, just as a, as a fan, because I think this happens on turf and grass with hitting the back of the head thing. But that new turf, it's a harder surface. You know, it's a harder surface. It's more, and it's supposed to like be underlaid with rubber, but it's like, uh, like crushed, crumpled up rubber, and it, it, it's it's basically, you know, rubber rocks in a sense, right? So when you hit it, it's not you hit you. It's not like you hitting a bunch of little pieces of rubber and it's gonna bounce. No, it's basically, you know, you just hitting soft rocks. Um, to me, you know, it's a lung issue. Because when they first lay that stuff, it doesn't. You can feel it in your lungs. Something's up. So I wouldn't be surprised in years to come, people have issues that may even be cancerous because of that. Um, but when they say they need grass, I think the grass could could lessen some of this impact of these injuries because uh, of the soil. You know, um, the harder surface, but softer surface in a sense. You know, more absorbent. Um, but when I look at the game, you know, you can sue the league and the players can sue. They're not, they're, they're, you got to worry about their safety. They're just saying that because it's a quarterback. That's it. They're just saying that because it's a quarterback. You know, receivers been getting, getting whiplashed all the time. But that's the other part I wanted to talk about with the receivers was, you notice the running backs and linebackers aren't getting these type of concussions. You notice that? You notice that though the running backs and linebackers aren't getting these kinds of because it's, they're mostly straight ahead bang plays. They they're mostly front, you know, and they're hitting shoulder and head all the time. The linemen aren't getting as many concussions as you, as you think about, and they and they're nose to nose every play, just hitting each other. But <clears throat> so to me, it's like it's the helmets because they're working on the front end, even the side, but that back part, 
I don't think that bad part is um, it needs to be beefed up. Because I remember, you know, even as a kid, like, I don't see, and I don't even watch college football or high school football that much. But I but but I well, I watched a lot last year because my son was playing. You I didn't see that you didn't see concussions like that. You didn't see head injuries like that. You know, because the the helmets are, are thicker in the back. Like them old right L's, like them old right L helmets. You know, it, it's kind of like having a, a if you, anybody you got a car, it's like your airbags. And what I'm saying is, it's like having a, a car with an airbag and say the airbag goes off if you get hit. On the front, the side, the side, and the passenger side, right? But what it's like is <clears throat> when you lighten up the back, it's like having a, a a car where the passenger airbag don't work as good as the driver's side airbag, so the passenger gets messed up, but you don't. You get what I'm saying? Or the side airbag doesn't work like the front airbag, so you, know, you didn't hit the steering wheel, but if you got hit by the side, you smacked into the glass, and then it... And then it went off. So you got really messed up. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if they need to bring the back back to the regulation with it, that it once was to lower these injuries from the back of the head. Because to me, watching, that's where a lot of this stuff happens. When somebody gets whipped around, spun around, hit, and they fall. And y'all think some of these people are out, you know, when they spinning, but they're not really out when they spinning. They, when they land and they go, bow, that's when they're out. They, you might, they might, you know, the impact could spin anybody around. That doesn't mean you're not conscious. Some people you see out on sight, but for the most part, they just that spin around when they land, it's that bash, that smack, all the way into the back. That that's what it does is to me. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.